the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that we who glory in the heart of your beloved Son, and recall the wonders of his love for us, may be made worthy to receive an overflowing measure of grace from that font of heavenly gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Solemnity of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. First reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, You are a people sacred to the Lord your God. He has chosen you from all the nations on the face of the earth to be a people peculiarly his own. It was not because you are the largest of all nations that the Lord set his heart on you and chose you. For you are really the smallest of all nations. It was because the Lord loved you, and because of his fidelity to the oath he had sown to your fathers, that he brought you out with his strong hand from the place of slavery, and ransomed you from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand then, that the Lord your God is God indeed the faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant down to the thousandth generation toward those who love him and keep his commandments, but who repays with the destruction a person who hates him. He does not daily with such a one, but makes them personally pay for it. You shall therefore carefully observe the commandments, the statutes, and the decrees that I enjoin on you today. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. Bless the Lord, O my soul. All my being, bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with the kindness and the compassion. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he 
recreate us according to our crimes. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. <clears throat> Second reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only Son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in Him and He in us, that He has given us of His Spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testified that the Father sent His Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in Him and He in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love. And whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Take my yoke upon you, says the Lord, and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Alleluia, alleluia. Almighty God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. And you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And the words of the Gospel of Jesus the Messiah. Jesus thanked his Heavenly Father for, for revealing the mysteries of the Kingdom of God to people who are childlike, that is, to the disciples, because of their humility, simplicity, and honesty. What does the prayer of Jesus teach us about God? Jesus' prayer teaches us that God is the creator of this universe. He is the author of everything in it. He is the first origin and the transcendent authority. At the same time, his loving care and the providence extends to all of his creation. Jesus' prayer also contains a warning about pride. Pride can keep us out from God and His kingdom because pride is the root of all vices. People who are humble, 
it is to them God reveals the mysteries of the heavenly kingdom. People like the disciples whom Jesus chose because of their simplicity, honesty, sincerity, and humility. People who are humble acknowledge that everything they have is a gift of God because everything come from, from, comes from God and, give, and God is the giver of everything we have including our own life because we belong to God. God created us in its own image and likeness that someday when we depart from this life he wants us to be with him. So God exalts those who are humble, honest, and sincere. At the same, same time, those who are proud, they will be put down. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. As we stand before the Lord, let us place our needs, our prayers before Him, and we'll ask for His blessing. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, religious, and laity, that they may always follow Jesus. Listen to his teachings faithfully, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for peace throughout the world, in our own homes, in our homeland, and also in all those places torn by war and violence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us remember in a special way all those who are sick and suffering, our own loved ones in our families and the members of our parish community, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus in their pains and sufferings and get well from their illness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us keep in silence our own intentions and also the intention of this Mass. This Mass is being offered for Winfield events. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers of your faithful people. Bless us and help us to follow you and imitate your love and your goodness in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer you fruits of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. By the mystery of this walk and while may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the while we offer you fruit at the time and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual well drink. Blessed be God forever. With the humble spirit and the contrite heart. May we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, for my iniquity. Thanks be to my sin. <clears throat> Pray.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, to the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Look, O oh Lord, we pray on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and an expiation of our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always sent everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side. The wellspring of the church sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Savior, all might grow water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and the saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim you. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make you holy, therefore these gifts be prayed by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and prophesy your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis, our Pope, Blaise Serpent, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Winfield, Evans, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that Winfield, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him 
any Gujarat or action. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <clears throat> deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed to hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours in event forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only so the world and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
the community and song. One of the soldiers opened the gate with the lance, and at once there came forth the blood and the water. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, now permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. May the sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that, drawn always to your Son, we may learn to seek him in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended now. Let us go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you and to God bless you. For our recession, we will sing Holy God, we praise thy name. Song number 519. 519. <clears throat> oh. 